Brooklands, the world's first purpose-built motor racing circuit. Built in 1906 by Hugh Lock King, a wealthy landowner and entrepreneur, is now an incomplete circuit that houses an excellent museum, the Spirit of Brooklands, a home for some fine exhibits of not only motor racing history, but of course the history too of aviation, as many of the early pioneers took to the air here. Brooklyn's Museum plays host to many car events throughout the year, where you can see most any car ranging from the latest Italian supercars at events like Auto Italia to some of the older cars that would have been at Brooklyn's in its heyday at events such as the VSCC Trials. And of course that focal point for action, which must not be missed, the Test Hill. Certainly a case of the right crowd and not too much crowding. Meanwhile back out on the track, the VSEC often use the track for their trials, but wouldn't it be great if we could do a full circuit of the circuit? Recently a full circuit of Brooklands has been achieved by James May on his excellent program Toy Stories, but wouldn't it be great to go around in a proper car like John Cobb's Napier Railton? Unfortunately this couldn't happen unless we go into cyber world and the world of Microprose Spirit of Speed 1937. So let's leave the start finish straight at Brooklands and to our right is of course the test hill as we venture out onto the circuit and members banking and head off down the railway straight and start to really pick up some speed. It's alright watching the car from behind, so let's actually get in the cockpit and see what it's like from John Cobb's eye view as we enter into the Byfleet banking and under the footbridge. Exiting the Byfleet banking, we come to the second crossing of the River Way. The white building directly ahead of it is of course the Timing Building. To our right is the Brooklyn's works of Vickers Aircraft, under a second footbridge and entering into Members Banking. And of course under the famous landmark that is Members Bridge. The current bridge of course across the track on the Members Banking was a new addition as the original was got rid of many years ago. But Hey, it looks the part, so what the hell. Currently parts of the track that still remain. Well, there's a lot of the railway straight still remaining, and of course the Byfleet banking. Though there are a couple of major gaps in the Byfleet banking where roads now pass through. One of which used to be where the runway for Vickers Aviation used to pass through. Now to your left, you'll notice a white fence going across that field. That's part of the 1937 Campbell circuit. An addition to Brooklands to allow more permutations of track use uh, that was devised by Sir Malcolm Campbell, the speed king himself. And also to our left here is another part of the Campbell circuit, marked again by a white fence. Now, on James May's Toy Stories, the Byfleet Banking was crossed here by an electric flyover, and of course here was where the other road crossing was. 
as we come off the Byfleet banking, anybody who knows the programme will know that uh, this piece is actually still complete and pretty much as it is as we're driving around it. Across the River A and into Staniland Drive. Here we're passing over Sony's Pond and through the soap manufacturer, the spiral ascent of doom. And onward under the Members Bridge. Now at the end of Members Banking, the car will jump. And it's here where the river weighs, where we had to cross the sewage pipe. Here would be about where the 14 foot fence was. And further down, where the other fence would have been that we had to cross. Of course, there's a lot of buildings on the track right here now, so a lot of this is gone. But this part, as you can see from the photograph, actually still remains as it passes around a certain very well-known supermarket called Tesco's. And finally, as we come off the end of the Byfleet Banking, we're heading now for the Start Finish Strait, which, if you notice the dark area across the base of it, as we're just about to cross, this is where the Campbell Circuit would have crossed it. This particular part of the circuit is still in existence and is a car park for officers. <laughs> 